Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. For Halloween month, I am going with some true crime stories. So today I'm in Bolingbrook, Illinois. This is Pheasant Chase Court up here, which was home to Drew Peterson. Now most of you know who Drew Peterson is, but I'll fill you in a little bit. But both Drew Peterson lived on the street and his ex-wife Kathleen Savio, who was found dead in her house. So I will take you down here and give you a look at both houses. Now this is a quiet cul-de-sac in a pretty nice neighborhood, and this is where Drew Peterson called home. According to court records, Drew Peterson is still the name on the title, but his son lives here now, and he was actually outside just a minute ago. But I didn't want to look like a creeper, so I'm just going to kind of walk around a little and tell you a little of the story. Now, Drew Peterson worked for the Bolingbrook Police Department for 30 years. He obtained the rank of a sergeant, and he ended up retiring at the age of 53. And he retired in 2007. He was married four different times. The first two marriages ended because of his, his issues staying faithful. And his second wife, he actually made a comment once saying that if she crossed him, he knew how to get rid of her and make it look like an accident. And he held true to that promise, not with her, but with his next wife, Kathleen Savio. Shortly after his divorce to Kathleen, she was found dead in her upstairs bathroom in a dry bathtub. And they ended up doing a second autopsy on her, and then they found out that there were signs of a struggle. She had a gash in the back of her head, and Drew Peterson was charged with her murder. He was found guilty in 2012, and he was sentenced to 38 years in prison. Now, his story didn't end there. He shared this house right here with his fourth wife, Stacy Peterson, and it's because of her that this case got national attention. Stacy was young, and she just disappeared kind of out of the blue, and it was very uncharacteristic of her to do such a thing. And her disappearance made police take a second look at Kathleen Savio. Friends and family all pointed the finger at Drew Peterson, and he was very arrogant about it. Now after Stacy's disappearance, Drew acted kind of weird. He was all over the media. He was he, At one point he even had a radio contest, win a date with Drew Peterson. And at that time, and even still today, Stacy's body has never been recovered. At first they thought that it was here in a retention pond at the Clough Airport. Just it, This is in Bolingbrook and this uh, airport, it's a small airstrip just at the far end of Pheasant Chase, just outside of their neighborhood. They searched this pond right here, didn't find anything, but this is where Drew said that this was where her car was. Now we're on the block of Kathleen Savio's house. Now Drew and Kathleen obviously lived together in the first house that they had, and after he started seeing Stacy, he moved her into the house that I showed you already, and Kathleen moved into this house up here at the end of the street. Now. Police had been called to Kathleen's house dozens of times with issues because Drew had been coming by and harassing her and threatening her and um, dropping the kids off late. So their relationship was rocky at best. Now Drew had made threats before and like I said he, he did make a threat once to his second wife although nothing ever happened to her but to his third wife here she was found dead in the in the bathroom upstairs and in a dry bathtub the weird thing was is that they initially thought that this death was accidental but it, once they started looking at the evidence it didn't make sense so they exhumed her body did a second autopsy and they found things that they did not see the first time which were signs of foul play now it happened in this house right here in the upstairs bathroom so with this new evidence they pressed charges against Drew Peterson, brought him in, and convicted him of murder. So here's one more look at the house. Now just for a little added bonus, um, the police station is just down the road, so I'll take you to see where Drew Peterson worked for 30 years of his life.
Now this is the Bolingbrook Police Department, and this is where Drew Peterson worked for 30 years. He worked as a police officer and worked his way up to a sergeant. And this is pretty cool. This is on the grounds. But these are areas that would have been very familiar to Drew Peterson. So the right-hand side of the building is where he obviously would have parked. I'm not sure if the police department is the only thing in this building, but this is where the parking lot is. This is a nice little recreational path and area behind the police department. Now I hope you enjoyed this uh, little Drew Peterson tour of Bolingbrook, Illinois. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween.